So, uh, for example, comparing these two paths, the top path and the bottom path that I drew here, does this top path seem to have uh, a lot of bending or only a little bending compared to the bottom one? A lot. Yeah, a lot of bending. So does it seem to represent a big mass or a small mass? Aww. That's right. And what, what particle did that represent? It represents beta decay, right? right? Is that a big mass or a small mass? It's a small mass. Remember that beta decay, the mass is approximately zero. So that's the reason I drew this like this. A beta particle would get a whole lot of bending here. So the beta particle here is a whole lot of so bending. So C is alpha because it's big? All right, looks like you're uh, jumping ahead. That's right, good. So <coughs> who's big? Alpha. Yeah, so does this, is this bending a lot or a little? A little. Yeah, this path is bending a lot less than path A. This path is bending a lot less than path A, and therefore it seems like it probably has a big mass, which would mean it's the alpha particle. Right. Now there's a complication there. The alpha particle would also feel a bigger force because that's twice as much charge. Uh -huh. But I don't think the charge is going to matter here. The alpha particle has twice as much charge, but it's got way, way more mass. Uh -huh. Four is like infinitely bigger than zero. Right, and two is only twice as big as one. So the, uh, the greater force here would be swamped by the fact that this has way more mass. So I would still expect the alpha particle to get much less bending. The alpha particle should get much less bending because it has way, way more mass. Four is way bigger than approximately zero over here. Now, of course, I don't know what the actual pictures look like in your homework, but you have to look at the homework and see, you want to compare path A and path C and see whether they have the same amount of bending or different amounts of bending. If they have the same amount of bending, what does path C probably represent? Then it's beta plus. That's right. And that would make sense because remember that beta plus is just the antiparticle for beta minus. Yeah. They're the same mass but different charges. So if you had two antiparticles, they would have the same exact bending paths except that one would bend up and one would bend down because of the opposite charges. All right, that's a good uh, question. So there's a lot of different issues that we had to review to go through that. That would be a good exam question because it requires you to integrate the nuclear physics with the magnetic physics that we went over from earlier.